My name is Walter Wandgren, Jr. You and I, sooner or later, are going to experience that which comes to all people. We're going to experience dying. But there's a difference between us and the world. The world looks away from that fact and tries to hide it much as possible, but we, as faithful people, have the power and the ability to look death straight in the eye and understand it. Even as I'm talking to you right now, I have cancer. If my experience tells me truly, then many of you do too. Or if you don't have cancer, you know somebody who does. Somebody who is near enough to you that it causes emotion and a desire for the proper reaction in you. I think the best way to introduce you to my cancer is to tell you step by step the experience that I had in discovering it and what we did about it early. In January 2006, I was at the grocery store with my granddaughter, Cassandra. We had gone there to buy a few things because all of our children had gathered with our grandchildren. It was unusual, but it was important that it had happened that way. I have no idea why I did this, but walking down the aisles, I put my left hand to my neck and I felt the fact that there was a mass there. We have a family doctor who is very close to us and who is willing to have us come in if something very important is wrong. And so he allowed me to come in that very same day, that afternoon. He touched it, and without saying anything of a diagnosis, he sent me for an x-ray. When the doctor looked at the x-ray itself, which I believe was the next day, he told me that the uh, radiologist was very uncomfortable with a number of things that he saw. Do you remember in the book of Genesis, what God gave us to do and what God did with the creation. Everything that was made came to know itself by a name. The light he called day. The darkness he called night. He called the firmament sky. You understand? That's a creating word. When I come to die, I have no doubt that the Christ is going to utter that same creating word to me. And because of and in that word, I will know everything. The word itself will have the capacity to make me alive and full. And there again, it is a creating word. That word will have the capacity also to make me know everything. Christ is here. He is so intimate with me, he has never been gone. That word will be my resurrection. And it will be but one word of creation and intimate power, gentleness. In the darkness, my Lord Jesus will say, Walter. <laughs>